What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome to my Gold Arena guide for Shadowgun Legends. Gold Arena is for advanced players. Before you go into the Gold Arena, you should understand how Arena works. I really advise you watch my other Silver Arena videos because you need to understand the spawn points and the start of each round strategy to be efficient in the arena. I will link the videos in the description. This is the first gold arena guide. I only did 22 gold arena before making this guide. I think we have a pretty good strategy here. I'm going to share with you the start of the round strategies, the spawn points, and some tips to help you guys do better. Before you start playing Gold Arena, you should try to up your power to 270, which is the new maximum power, because the enemies in Gold Arena, they do a lot more damage than in Silver, and if you're low power, you're gonna die a lot and you're gonna die fast. So you need to improve your survivability. There's a couple of ways that could help. You should try to look for melee resistance on your gloves and on your legs. Melee enemies can kill you fast. The new blinkers are very quick and they do a lot of damage if they hit you. So melee resistance will help you stay alive. Then try to get some good explosion resistance on your boots. A lot of decimator enemies explode when they die. There's also some fire spitters and void callers. There's a lot of splash damage and explosion resistance will help you a lot. Now if you still die too much, you should respec and use a skill tree that will help you survive. The 819 build I shared about a week ago is a very good build for the new PvP meta because everyone uses rocket launchers and grenades. Well, this build will really help you survive in Gold Arena also. First of all, you get 15% melee resistance on the skill tree and you get another 25% explosion resistance with the flat jacket skill. So the thing with the 819, it will help you transition until you get better gear. But if you have great gear and you think you're doing good enough, you should really respect to the old 1233 damage build because you're going to kill enemies faster and that's what you're looking for. So you have to try to find balance between killing enemies fast and not being dead all the time. So with the 819, you will die less, but you will kill enemies slower. Now for Gold Arena, you want to go with AM Bomb and Supercharger. The main difference between Silver Arena and Gold Arena, in Silver Arena, you have to kill specific enemies to make other waves spawn. But in Gold Arena, it seemed to be kill X number of enemies and then the bosses will spawn for each round. So the strategy for Gold Arena is kill a lot of enemies fast and try to avoid elites to kill the trash mobs because they die faster. Now we'll go round by round and I will tell you guys where you need to be at the start of each round and how you should manage your AM bombs as a team. Now this is the start of round one in Gold Arena and you will see the start is very much the same. Uh, we kill the barrels at the start so you don't take damage like, later down the road. Uh, you go and collect some secondary ammo and all three players will make their uh, way to the same spawn as Silver Arena. Now I'll pause the video to show you guys the positioning but it's pretty much like Silver Arena. Two guys on that stage and Kush is behind me. In Silver Arena it is Spiders and Dreads behind me so one player take care of the trash and two players take care of what used to be uh, Twin Blades and Trash Mobs. Well in Gold Arena it's gonna be Decimator Chargers. So just remember the AM Bomb strategy that we use right now is one AM Bomb at the start of round one, two AM Bombs at the start of round two and all three players should have their AM Bombs ready for the round three boss after that it will be all three players save their am bombs for the start of round five so this is the start of round one uh kush used the am bomb to help us you don't see it i think maybe he missed it oh there's the am bomb yeah so am bomb as a start to help us with the trash uh you see that i use a rocket launcher uh, at the end of the day, it was one rocket launcher, one machine gun, and one sniper. Does it help you deal with everything? Uh, the rocket launcher is good for packs, and the sniper is good for the single target boss. But as you see, me and Yoni, after we're done with the start of round one trash, we move to the second spawn of round one. So this is the same as uh, Silver Arena round one. Same strategy, same positioning. And then you see the bosses will spawn. So here you see me and Kush, we focus on one target at a time. We kill the right guy together, then we kill the left guy together, and then we'll move to the last guy. What changed now in Gold Arena is after you kill the bosses, you have to kill the remaining enemies. So no need to waste time and kill a lot of trash. 
When it's the boss fight, focus on the boss together as a team, one target at a time, kill them fast. So end of the round, go around, get some secondary ammo, and the start of round two will be just a little different from the start of round two in Silver Arena. Once again, I paused the video to show you guys the positioning for start of round two. In Silver Arena, you see where Super Kush is? Usually it's two guys there in Silver Arena and one guy where Yoni is. While in Gold Arena, it's the other way around. It's one guy where Super Kush is and two guys where Yoni is. Now I said 1 AM bomb at round 1, 2 AM bombs at round 2. Well, here it is. The start of round 2 is very busy in that spot. So I will go with the first AM bomb and Yoni will use her AM bomb right after me. I use Rocket Launcher again because there's a lot of trash. And I told you guys, the objective in Gold Arena is kill trash fast. As I see the enemy spawn, I throw my AM bomb. I could have thrown just a bit quicker, but then I spam rockets and that will kill the trash. As they spawn, they die. And Yoni with her machine gun, she just shoots and finish off what I couldn't kill with my rockets. Gold Arena is not easy, you will die also, but the thing is, when someone dies, you gotta rush and get him up because you will see it goes fast, someone die, then someone else die, and then you're alone. You make one mistake, you die, and you can be wiped out. Decimator chargers do a lot of damage and they will kill you often. But anyways, when we're done with the storm early round two, we all move where Kush is and then it's just elites. You cannot really go faster. You have to start killing elites. It's a bit slow, but then you'll spawn the bosses. Now, once you killed enough enemies, the bosses will spawn. Round two is pretty much the same. It's red guys that spawn right in the middle. So focus on your targets. Try to draw aggro away from the center for the melee enemies and then you have to kill the remaining enemies. Now this is the start of round 3. Here's what we do for round 3 and 4. This is the decimator spawn in silver arena. Usually in silver, round 3 and 4, one guy will go there to kill this decimator. So in gold arena, we decided to go two guys here and one behind me. So here when they start spawning, you will see they spawn three at a time. And they keep spawning there will be one decimator charger and two trash mobs after a little while uni will join us and we'll stay here for the rest of the round there's a lot of stuff spawning and a lot of blinkers try to kill the blinkers fast they're easy to kill they're weak and your goal is to kill a lot of enemies to make the boss spawn now i told you guys save the three am bombs for the round three boss here i died but the thing is if all three players save their am bombs the round 3 boss is a lot of red enemies in the middle. All 3 players send their AM bombs in the middle right as they spawn so they'll be very weak already. Use all your super charge at the same time and try to kill the bosses fast. Now round 4, same start as round 3. Two teammates will go here at the decimator spawn. So Kush is joining me but the enemies will spawn in waves and I will spam my rockets in the enemy spawn. That's pretty fast. They spawn 3 at a time. I spawn kill them with the rockets. I could be alone probably. If I don't miss my rockets, you can see here, everything dies with the rockets. So the strategy here on round four is we kill them as they spawn. They keep spawning three by three. But instead of Yoni joining us, it's going to be us joining Yoni. When they start spawning slower, they start spawning one by one. I will leave, Kush will stay and kill the enemies. And I will join Yoni and kill some stuff where she is. So you see me turn around and I go join Yoni and then again it's gonna be a lot of elites so it's a bit slow but you try to focus on the trash what you can kill fast you try to kill fast uh, Kush will also join us and then it's gonna be the boss that will spawn so the round four boss is a blade dancer that spawns in the middle so the same strategy applies one guy in the team should go and draw aggro from the blade dancer and the other two guys will follow and shoot him in the back. Of course, if you get too close, he will turn around. So that's not a very good one right here. But he only tries to get aggro. Me and Kush will shoot in the back. Now, when you're done with the Blade Dancer, you have to finish off, kill the rest of the enemies in the map. And that will be the start of round five. Round five, I told you guys, you all use your AM bombs and supercharger for the round three boss. All your supercharger and AM bombs should be ready for the start of round five. Start of round five is like the end of round three. All the enemies will spawn in the middle. So you will spam all three AM bombs, all three superchargers and shoot the red enemies as fast as you can. Now here we go. Red ball, they will spawn three AM bombs in the middle. 
I spam my rockets with my supercharger so we already kill a bunch of stuff as they spawn so that will help you a lot because if they start spreading that will make your job much harder you will have to start running around the map and chasing them and killing them so if you kill the key enemies fast there you go the regis aka voltaic fist he spawned very very fast so now you can focus on regis one guy should distract two guys should start shooting him in the back uh, you have to work as a team of course try to protect each other there's some red blinkers there they do a lot of damage but the deal is when you do a certain amount of damage in the back of regis two blade dancers will spawn now same strategy applies one player should kite the blade dancers around the map and the other players should shoot them in the back meanwhile the other guy could keep chipping at regis or help with the blade dancer fight now when you're done killing the enemies you don't have to finish killing everything you just need to kill the three bosses regis two blade dancers and you can go down the loot chamber and collect your loot it was a 1542 run i can tell you guys we died a lot we messed up at the bosses we messed up at many places when you start getting stronger you get better gear you will die less and you will be more efficient in your killing but i wanted to share with you guys our strategy for gold arena it's been requested a lot it just came out a couple days ago i needed to play at least a couple games to uh, have a feel for it you know i'm sure if you guys work as a team manage your am bombs and your superchargers decide your roles who goes where at the start of each round you guys will do good for sure but it's really all about start of the round it's where you manage the enemies you don't want them to spread you want to kill them fast as they spawn so if you're at the right spot it will be much better you don't want to be running around the map the enemy spreading and everyone dying all the time so yeah once again get strong infuse your gear if you need to get good weapons get the right build and then practice it's all about teamwork gold arena is teamwork so hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends guides gameplay and news if you have better strategies if you want to share your tips leave a comment below it will be much appreciated by the community for sure and looking forward to improve from here. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back soon.